everybody, welcome to a brand new show on my channel. Here we are with Dr. Alif Hussain and a series on plastic surgery, everything and anything you needed to know on the subject. So Dr. Alif, we've been doing this intense, really informative uh, few podcasts and today I want to talk about uh, a treatment that has become so popular in the past few years and talk about invasive and non-invasive procedures. And this has been such a debate, like dermatologists would always tell you that no, it's it, you know you don't really need to go under the knife anymore. They're amazing, non-surgical, non-invasive treatments, and you can get almost the same results. So, what is your uh, what's your your two what? cents on that? Yeah, I'm like you know, and I'm discussing in your previous videos about that as well. So, lasers are good, non-invasive procedures are good, but you have to select the patient. Yeah, like they cannot give you the result of a surgical thing. And uh, if you're not a candidate of a surgical thing, the surgery can be good. Absolutely, right. absolutely. So let's say about the face, like the early sign of aging starts like at the age of 30. Yeah. But I've seen, I've done fillers on the age of 22, 23. Yes, years, right? yes. Because not for the aging purpose, just to enhance. Enhance, right? yeah. To lip enhancement, yes. cheek enhancement and all these stuff. So, uh, Lasers can buy your time, fillers can buy your time for the surgery to just to come under the yeah. knife. What happened? Everybody they have a fear factor to just come under the knife. Yes. Okay? Like if the patient comes to you and uh, if you think he or she is not a patient of a surgical thing, you should not. Absolutely. You should go for take the advantage of fillers, even the fat transfer is very in now. Which lasers, lasers or, and all yeah. these stuff. And if a patient like on the face, if he or she has a loose skin, loose muscle, and loss of volume, then he is not at all the procedure for the non-surgical. Absolutely, and it doesn't work. Let it me be very work. clear, it does not work. Yeah. If you have loose skin, whether that's aging or fat, uh, or any kind of fat loss, and your skin will sag, and it does sag, there's no amount of lasers or even threads yeah, that exactly. can fix it. You can, it is an achievement towards very minor corrections or contouring. It will never give you the result. If you have loose skin, you have loose skin and it needs to be nipped and tucked and pulled. Exactly. Uh, so it all depends what patient, like I always ask my patient, what, what is your expectation uh, and what do you want? Yeah. So if you want that, then we can do this and you'll have a limited amount of results. If you want that, we can just tuck you, pull and you will uh, reserve it below yes. that. And threads as you talked about, thread lifts are good, but I always combine thread with face lift. And uh, thread lift doesn't work if you have lost of muscle and volume. Yes. It, will, it will only will work workable like if, if you're young, like in your early, early 30s, 30s, 30s and mid 40s, yeah. it can work. But now new threads are coming and yeah. they're thick, but we have to see them how, the, how they just work and what are the results. So the cut the, the, the story short, I believe. If you're the right candidate for the surgery, you are the best candidate for that. If you're the right candidate for a non-invasive procedure, Absolutely. the result is going to improve with that. Sure. Right? So the surgeon has to decide. The, unfortunately, a lot of doctors, they have the machinery and they put every patient on the same thing. Yeah, because they, they want to sell it. They've invested yeah, in yeah, something, they, they want to sell it. They want to yeah. sell it. So this is not the right thing. Like the plastic surgeon can do from A to Z, right? Yeah. We can do filler, we can do boot art, we can do lasers, we can do surgery. Fat grafting, whatever you Everything. We, we, we do everything. We are happy with the needle, we are happy with the uh, knives and all these stuff. So we do each and everything. So the patient comes to me, I tell them like, look, you just want a filler, you just want fat, or you just want surgery. So that's the first surgeon is, uh, has to decide for the patient which is the best thing. Yeah, absolutely. It's you good. have to trust the surgeon. Like there are a lot of patients who just WhatsApp me and look, I have not been operated by this surgeon. What do you think? I said, trust your surgeon, go to him. Yeah. What he's saying is trust him. Otherwise, you would have come to me in the first place. Yeah. But, but I always ask him to come and reassure them, nothing to be worried about, you'll be fine. So, you know, uh, in, in this entire world, not every surgeon can please every patient, and not every patient can be satisfied with every surgeon. Or just take procedure. Or just take procedure. Sometimes it takes multiple invasive yeah, and non invasive exactly. and I think a good thing to do is take care of yourself earlier on, eat well, uh, try try not to have excess weight loss and excess uh, any kind of uh, you know uh, substances, you know, alcohol or one cigarettes. Thing I want to add, which is very important in, in, in our part of the world. 
patient, not every patient I'm talking about specifically, there's some patient who just think that they have just I mean, like bought the surgeon by paying it or and whatever, like a liposuction, I cannot control your fat coming back. You do. You as a patient do, yeah. Yeah, I cannot control. I'm like, but what I can do in an hour, you cannot do it. So you have to have a healthy lifestyle with that Absolutely. because even I cannot stop aging. If I do facelift, you think you'll be, there are certain factors like diabetes, like your smoke and all these things, you age quickly. Right? Absolutely. So it's like, I cannot do, but you, but the patient, they don't have to come to the surgeon and say, well, look, I've, I've gained fat again, what you have done, what do you mean? Like I've done an angioplasty and if you have another blockage, that is my responsibility. Yes, this is no, something that people need to be really so well informed. you have to be very, very... And accountable, I think. Yeah, Absolutely. Care, and, and the follow-up is very important. Well, yeah, I totally agree and I think I really want to emphasize on this, that you choose as an adult, and I think you should be a grounded adult when you're going into these exactly. things. Exactly. Understand your body, understand your needs, make sure it's not dysmorphia, make sure it's not insecurity, exactly. make sure it's not competitive or competitive. Get what you need, do it slowly instead of getting drastic uh, surgeries or just going for it. Exactly. Combine invasive and non invasive as you need as you get older and look your best at any age and you can and it is possible and you should and that's how it is. Exactly. So, Doc, considering the kind of hectic lifestyle that you have, of dealing with people and I think surgery is a very tough thing just to experience, not to just go through to be doing day in and day out. How do you unwind from all of this? Well, uh, the thing is that uh, there is one thing I always say to my patient when I'm operating or about to operate because prior to my procedure, I just give like a lot of time on patient in the room marking. I said, what I am doing, what I am saying, you just you just understand that because in the OR, operating room, I enjoy. Okay. Yeah. This is my surgery. And apart from that, I listen to music. I'm very fond of playing instrument music. And now that I'm painting a lot in the quarantine time, I've, I've got a lot of time. I've just like paid 25, 30 paintings. <laughs> and I love to paint, love to sing, I love to play music and all this stuff. And yeah. spend time with my dog as well. Oh, that's one of the best yeah. things in the world. Thank you, Dr. Al, so much yeah. for such a wonderful series. Thank you very much. Uh, your questions were very well and up to date. The patient, they should. This is what, what, what it's all about. Right? Absolutely. And I hope they do. And I hope people are very well informed after watching these videos. And we would love to hear your feedback, your questions. And hopefully the next time I see Dr. Arif again, we can do another series on it. Sure. Till then, look after yourself. We can yourself. share some live video with you. Absolutely. We are, we are. Absolutely. I think that would be wonderful for our audience. Yeah. And uh, we're going to share a few snippets along these vlogs of Dr. Arif's work. And including uh, my graph, fat graphing. And uh, hope you enjoy. Look after yourself. Thank you.